Spa Francorchamps for the third round of the 2018 International GT Open. Coming into the weekend, it's the Danish driver Mikkel Mack for the Luzik Racing Team who leads the championship. But we have had some excellent racing so far this year, with victories last night in Estrille going to the Teo Martin Motorsport BMW and the RS Racing Ferrari. The Spa circuit always produces some great matches, so we should be in for a very entertaining weekend. Let's have a look at how it unfolded. So as the lights went out, it was David Perel from pole position in the Rinaldi Racing Ferrari who led the way just about as they charged towards La Source for the first time. Mikel Mack trying to challenge but eventually having to file through in second position as behind Andrea Montermini and Fernando Ruiz came together. Unfortunately, neither car damaged but both substantially delayed. It's also drama when Renat Salakov tagged Holly Wilkinson but it was Lorenzo Barra de Viega who was the completely innocent victim retiring after sustaining damage to the front of the BMW. Meanwhile, Andrea Montoni was busy charging up through the field after the early spin as Alex West and Marcello Hahn came together. Unfortunately, that put West out of the race. While Valentin Pierberg and Fernando Ries were busy doing battle as well. Post pit stops, there was some absolutely brilliant action with Joel Eriksson sliding his way through the field, as were Matt Griffin and Fran Rueda going every which way around Giuseppe Cipriani. Alain Kogge also rapidly fell victim to the charging Ferrari and BMW. In the front of the field, though, Jerome Mull was being pursued by Alessandro Pierguini, and this was the move that sided the race around the outside for the first part of the comic gave Pierguini the inside for the second phase. Meanwhile, the Pro-Am podium, it got a little bit intimate at times, to sort out who was going to finish in second and third position. Eventually decided in favour of Fabrizio Cristani. For Alessandro Pierguini and Mikel Mack, it was their third victory of the season, and it has given Mack a comfortable lead at the top of the championship standings. Two of the Imperial Racing Lamborghini Huracans rounding out the podium. For Lizit Racing, very much a case of job done. In the beginning, uh, it was very tight in the start, but uh, yeah, I tried to do my best to just carry the whole car to Alex, and uh, he did an amazing job. And uh, now we're standing here as a winner. Alessandro, what a fantastic uh, overtake uh, for the lead we saw. Yes, it was quite nice. I enjoy it, so I enjoy all the race, all the fight. Ludwig Rossi did a perfect job with the car, with the Ferrari 488, and it was amazing. And uh, I love this track, so... And it's third in a row for me this year, so it's, it's great, cannot ask more. And also Mikkel did an incredible job in the first part, created a gap, so I was already in front of so many cars after the the handicap we had in the in the pit stop, so it's a great job for us. And Mikkel, uh, this is all good for the champion? Yeah, for sure. Uh, like Alex said, that the, the team did an amazing job for us, so uh, very happy that we can uh, take the big one today. So for a pole position, it was Fran Raider who led the way as the field all fought for position as they charged towards La Source for the first time. They all made it through cleanly, with a little bit of pushing and shoving before Juan Cruz Alvarez bettered Daniele Diamato with a very brave move into a rouge for the first time. Cruz Alvarez, though, late on in his stint, overhauled by a charging Alessandro Pierguini with a Lusic racing Ferrari. Post pit stops, it was this magnificent battle for second position which held our attention as Saravia led the way. Marcello Hahn was reeled in by Lorenzo Berrao de Viega, Richard Gonda and Andrea Montermini. Berrao moved in to second place, but before too long, Gonda was passed and Montermini followed moments later. It was then a three-way scrap for second as Hahn was reeled in late on by a train headed by Kang Ling. Ferocious fighting throughout the field. And as Hahn got shuffled down the order, that allowed Bradley Ellis to make the move, to move up into the lead of the Pro-Am class, but it got a little bit too close for comfort at times. 
So at the flag, it was Andres Sarabia and Fran Rueda. They and Teo Martin Motorsports, second victory of the season. Richard Gondra and Joel Eriksson in second, but then Andrea Montermini winning the drag race to the line to snatch third by fractions of a second. So that came a bit more with a five second penalty to Lorenzo Berra de Viega. So Saravia and Rueda to the top step of the Brostrom. The whole weekend was very nice. I did pole today, the win and the fast lap yesterday. I couldn't ask for more. The car is behaving here as always very, very good. So I think it was the best track for the car and we took the, the, the maximum out of it. Andres? You almost had a, a quiet sec second stint. That's the ones we like. Uh, not a lot of action. It was very nice. The car was very well balanced today. Um, a little bit better than yesterday. And Fran did a great job again. Uh, good qualifying and good start and first stint. Um, but yeah, the great weekend for us. We got a lot of handicap yesterday and a little bit today. But the car was amazing today. Fran, job. Some stuff flashing on the dashboard, but nothing serious. Huh? It looked like a Christmas tree over there. It was a lot of flashing stuff. <laughs> it was okay, it was okay. Small things. And Fran, it's good for the championship. Good position now. Well, yeah, the Ferraris are always very strong. Um, I think we climbed to P2, I think we are still. So let's see, we still have four races to go. I think the, the competition they have is very high. So if we continue in this way, maybe we can fight or... Well, well, we'll be there. That's the important thing.